five strength thumb. Um, I've had several bases before, Fender, Ibanez, but ever since, as long as I can remember, I always wanted a Warwick. Basically, for one big reason, is the sound of wood. These are the heaviest bases on the market, and there's a reason for that. It's because of the transformers in them. And the good thing about big transformers is they're better, and that means they um, transfer acoustic energy to electric energy faster, so you get a lot more of the transients, the pops, and what have you. And so I don't even play my Ibanez anymore. I don't play without this bass almost ever because I love it. I think I even slept with it in bed for the first few months I I've had seen it. him kiss it. Does it have a solid neck? No, it is a thumb. It is. Oh, I mean, yeah, okay, bolt yeah. on. But one day I'll have enough money to do that. Yeah. If I could upgrade, I'd probably stick with Warwick and get all the way through. I also really like Carbon bases, mm. and I also really like the Lakelands. I think I, those are pretty nice. The reason I asked you is a guy I know that had a BC Rich, and when I think of those, I think of like, ooh. But he had one that was made like 25 years ago. It's a solid piece really? of wood. It's a fantastic instrument. The only problem with a solid piece of wood is if you plan on having the instrument for a long time, it's going to be kind of hard to keep this all in line. Yeah. With these bolt-ons, that's the other great thing about Warwick. They're the easiest bases to realign. You, they're supposed to be made so you can do them yourself. I don't really trust myself with it. Me <laughs> I'd rather pay somebody 60, 70 bucks and have them do it right than me take the chance because if I snap this neck, I'd probably cry for a week. Um, <laughs> I've seen him kiss it. As far as my gear goes, um, I mean, we, we're a rock band, man. So, Ampeg. SVT, yeah. What else do I got? The venerable say? SVT. The SVT4 Pro at 1600 watts a channel, I run unbridged. So it's pretty powerful. All the transients that are caught on here, this thing can definitely amplify. Because you want your uh, amplifier to be three times higher power handling than your speakers. Just because for the transients and whatnot, obviously if I turn everything up to 10, might not be good for them. But um, I've had this for several years. Korg, I mean, is there another name in tuners? There isn't to me. <laughs> that's the only one that's affordable and works reliable. This is a full stack. I bought this 14 or 15, 15 probably. I know I wasn't driving. So, that like 12 years, bought it used. It's a workhorse. It's been to many places and it still runs great. I usually take my half stack on the road. This is just the practice right. amp. I got the uh, half stack Ampeg <laughs> classic and I just think it sounds so much better and it carries enough. For playing in a small room without a PA, it'll carry. And if it's somewhere bigger, you mic it up, DI it, mesh them together, it sounds just as warm as anything. Sometimes when people have talked about the SVTs, everybody loves how they sound, and, and but sometimes they seem to, taking them on the road, people are a little bit nervous about it because they, they seem to sometimes break. Well, I've had it many years. And you haven't? I've never had a problem. Um, I used to have an SWR working Well, everything on. breaks. I know. And I had more problems with that than I have. I've had this for years, but I mean, I also keep mine in a case. That's very important is to do that you need to have the cases or anything little thing bumps this knob it bends boom you have a short you know it's a signal chain anything in it can mess it up from a bad cable to a bad pot so i don't know i like a really warm sound and this combination really does that well for me